Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you an interesting story about a little boy named Juan Bobo and the pot. The name of the story is Juan Bobo's pot. So listen to the story carefully. Juan Bobo lived in Puerto Rico. Well, his name was Juan. But he was called Juan Bobo because he was sometimes quite silly. One day, Juan Bobo's mother invited friends for dinner. I will make chicken stew, she said to Juan Bobo. She had the chicken and she had the rice, but she didn't have a large enough pot. Juan Bobo, she said, go to your grandmother's house and borrow the biggest pot she has. Hurry, so I can make my stew. Juan Bobo loved chicken stew. He ran outside and up the hill towards his grandmother's house. When he reached his grandmother's house, he went straight to the cupboard where she kept the pot. He lifted it up on his shoulder and called, Thank you, Grandmother, before heading for home. Home wasn't far, but the pot was heavy and the day was hot. I think I will rest a while, he said aloud. So, he stopped and put that pot on the ground. Suddenly, he noticed those three legs. Hey, he said, you have three legs and I have only two. Why should I carry you? You lazy pot, he said. Why don't you walk on your own? Come. We will race to my house, but since I have just two legs and you have three, I will take a head start. The pot seemed to be staring back at him. It's easy. The house is just downhill and round the corner, he said, nodding at the pot. He was sure it understood his direction. I am off, he said, and he began to race towards home. When he reached the cottage, he rushed inside and said to his mother, Did I get here first? Juan Bobo's mother looked at her son's sweaty, flushed face and said, What are you talking about? Where is your grandmother's spot? Mother, Juan Bobo said very seriously, That pot has three strong legs and I have only two. So I told the pot I could race it home. Juan Bobo's mother shook her head. Oh, Juan Bobo, don't you know pots can't walk on their own? You go back and get that pot right now. Or you will have no stew at all. Juan Bobo ran back up the hill and found the pot right where he had left it. Lazy pot, he shouted. Now I am in trouble with my mother and I may not have dinner tonight. You have one more chance. Get going down the hill. Naturally, the pot just sat there staring at poor Juan Bobo. And this made the boy angry. So, Juan Bobo kicked the pot. It tipped over on its side and began to roll down the hill. That's right. Juan Bobo cried, overjoyed that 
at last the pot was on its way home. And so the pot and Huan Bobo reached home. Huan Bobo was very happy that night. As he ate the delicious chicken stew his mother had cooked inside the pot. In the morning, his mother said, Now, Huan Bobo, take the pot back to your grandmother's house. Huan Bobo looked at the pot and saw that it still had three legs. And even though he was full with the delicious chicken stew, he still had only two legs. But Huan Bobo's heart was kind. And he knew the pot had worked hard all night cooking that stew. So he picked up the pot and carried it on his shoulder up the hill. But as they walked, he said, Next time you'll walk back home on your own, my friend. Students, I hope you all enjoyed and liked the story of Juan Bobo and his pot. Till then, bye-bye, take care and most importantly, stay home and stay safe.